Okay, back with round two. Just finished with the cast family yesterday and we're now moving on to the Forged Iron, Forged Iron family uh, in the new Titleist 718 series. Now, just like I said in yesterday's video, um, I am going with the KBS stiff shaft again in these models, um, and also two degrees flat, and still, of course, using the Titleist NXT Tour S golf ball, which is our range ball here at Lake Caranup. Now, I'm gonna apologize up front. It is fairly windy out here this morning. Um, so, apologies if you can hear a little bit of wind. I'll do my best. I've got the lav mic on today and apologies if the microphone cuts out occasionally from now and then. Now, like yesterday, we went through the cast iron models in the 718 family. Today, we're gonna to be going through the forged uh, iron family now. Now, I'm gonna start off by just talking about all three heads quickly like I did yesterday. Straight away, we're now looking at heads for the better player. So we've got the AP2 here. I've also got the CB and MB heads here. Now all heads are forged, unlike yesterday they were all cast. Difference between CB and MB is the AP2 does have what we call tungsten, or high density tungsten infused into the head. So kind of like that multi-material thing that I've talked about before. Whereas your CB and MB are purely 1025 forged heads. Lofts on these models are more to what we call the standard loft of an iron. Um, or spe specifically a seven iron. This seven iron here comes in at 34 degrees of loft in the AP2. And then when you're looking at the MB and CB, you're talking about 35 degrees of loft. So again, more of a conventional loft when it comes to a player's golf club. We'll start with the AP2 first of all. Um, now, when you're talking about these models, there's not much you can talk about with regards to, to ball flight and stuff like that, but you can talk about response with these models. And when I'm talking about response, it's workability of these models. So I'll start with the AP2 first of all. Now, straight away, when you're looking at the head and you'll see the pictures come up on the screen, they do look more streamlined uh, than what you do. So for a player, when you're looking at these clubs, they look, do look a lot more attractive to the eye. They also give you that sense of confidence in them. Um, so AP2 straight away, I'll hit a shot first and see how we go. Again, I haven't hit I haven't hit that one the best, okay? And this is where you start to see the difference between a player's club and what you call a cast club or the you know entry level club is these aren't very forgiving. So when you do miss them, you do know about it. But the AP2 is definitely a lot more forgiving than the CB and MB. Um, and that's probably because of the high density tungsten that they put in the head. So it just gives it that little bit of MO, bit more of MOI, so a little bit more forgiveness. But it does look very good. Sounds good, feels good. Ball flight's a little bit lower than what you saw in the, the cast irons. So these are, do have a little bit more of a penetrating flight. Now, who do I recommend these clubs for? Or do I recommend this club for? Anyone on probably a 12 handicap or less is someone who could go for an AP2. And this is a tour proven club. So a lot of tour players are using this model just because it has that tendency to have that little bit more forgiveness than the CB and EB, MB, which I'm about to hit next. But like I said, when you look at this and you're looking down on the ground, it is an amazing head to look at. Now I'll talk about numbers at the end of the video uh, when I start to compare all three. Um, but like I said, with all these three models, it's definitely for the player. So like I said, anything from a 12 handicap all the way to your plus finger, you know, plus figured handicaps to your elite tour players. This is where the forged iron family comes into play. Like I also mentioned on the previous video, you looked at the AP3 iron. Um, Again, you could deem that to be a bit more of a player's iron, but you're not gonna get the feel like you do out of a forged iron. 
there you have it, AP2. Now we move on to the Titleist CB iron. Now I've had a few sets of these over the years um, and a very, very good looking iron. Again, a much more sleeker design than what you see on the AP2. But with a sleeker design comes a little bit more of inconsistency, especially if you haven't got a consistent swing. Again, I'll put the numbers up a little bit later on these models when I, I compare all three. But again, CB, again, it has a little bit more forgiveness than the MB because of the cavity back on the back. But you still don't get that forgiveness that you'll get out of a cast iron model. So when I'm saying you're going to buy a set of forged irons or in this three series, again, I really do emphasize 12 handicap would be your max with, a, with an AP2 because it has that little bit more forgiveness. But when you're starting to move down into the CB, MB range, you're really looking at players who are off a three, four handicap at max, you know? So this is, you know, a definite player's iron. You are not going to get any sort of forgiveness out of a model like, like this. But where does this come in? Well, for the better player, workability. The fact that you can stand here and shot shape as easy as, as this, this is why players go for these sorts of irons. So if I want to hit one right to left, left response, if I want to hit one left to right, it has maximum response. If I want to hit straight, which is the odd one occasionally from now and then, you get maximum response, you get maximum feedback, you get maximum feel off the face. You feel this, you hear this. It's everything about a CB and MB is about maximum response. And that's where the CB sits. Okay, final piece to the puzzle, tightless MB. Again, a thinner top line than the previous two models and an extremely look, good looking head. Again, back in my young days, I had a couple of sets of these as well. And it was more to do with my ego than it was to do with my ability. So here we have an iron which is 1025 forged. It's very thin. There is no forgiveness in this whatsoever. They have gotten a little bit easier to hit over the years, but not that much okay so again when you're looking at this model of head it is for your better player um, you know again single figures really low single figures to plus figure handicaps to tour players even tour players tend to go the ap2 a little bit more just because even they as a player want that little bit more forgiveness so very small market Okay, it's, it's, if you want to buy a set of it, put it on your shelf at home, or if you're going to use it, make sure you're a very, very good player. Again, like I said, with the CB, you get maximum response out of a club face like this. So workability is very easy. You can hit it right to left with ease. You can work it left to right with ease. You can hit it high, you can hit it low if you have the skills, the skill set to do that. This head has maximum response, so you will get maximum response out of this head. But you also, comes with maximum response, is a little bit of unforgiveness. And again, like I said, it's a player's iron. Head looks very good, top line's thin, bottom line's thin, interacts really well with the ground. Everything that a player could want in an iron, you have in the MB as well as the CB, as well as the AP2, but the MB is probably the most attractive looking head out of all three. So again, let me reiterate, who do I recommend this to? Very, very low figured players who want that workability of a golf club. 1025 forged, tightless MB. Not much to review on this model because it is a piece of metal on a stick. It hasn't got the technology, what you see in your cast iron family, but still, for a head that you want maximum response, this is the head for you. Okay, so let's quickly talk about the numbers on these three models. Now, let me just emphasize one thing first. When you're getting fitted for a forged iron, you're not gonna get that much out of the head, but you are gonna get a lot out of the shaft. So when you go for a fitting, really make sure you spend a lot of time working out what shaft you need because that's gonna determine how the ball flights. With a forged iron, forged iron head, you get pretty much the same sort of flight off the head. 
but like I said with the AP2 it's a little bit stronger so that might fly out a little bit lower but if you change the shaft you can change the way that that club flies through the air so when you go to get fit for a model like this make sure you spend a bit of time making sure you've got the right shaft and the right grip now let's start with the AP2 first now it does it is a degree stronger than the other two models so i did get a little bit more distance with that and as you saw when i did with a cast iron family the lofts on those were quite strong so i got a fair bit of distance but with the ap2 and the number comes up on the screen now i hit it roughly 152 when i hit a good one went 156 when i hit a bad one it went about 149 so there's the little bit of forgiveness that you get with an ap2 we move on to the CB and I was averaging roughly 149 but here's the kicker when I hit a good one at about 151 when I hit a bad one with a CB it dropped down to about 140 so I lost roughly 9 meters there and when you're not hitting it as consistent as you should this is where the forged iron family is probably not for you moving on to the mb again the average was the same you can see that come up on the screen there it was going out about 149 when i hit a good one 151 when i hit a bad one believe it or not i had one that went out at about 133 so extremely unforgiving blades have gotten more forgiving than what they used to be but they're still again remember these three models are for your better player this is for a player who wants maximum response maximum feel off the face and the easeability of working the ball left to right right to left high and low so like i said remember when you're actually getting fit for one of these models make sure you spend a bit of time looking at the shaft to make sure you've got the right shaft make sure you've got the right grip make sure you've got the right lie angle because you want to make sure you get every part of that right when you're starting to use a forged iron club so who do i recommend them to so i've just got home and went to edit the footage and noticed that the last 20 seconds of the video there is no sound so i'm now at home and i thought i have a quick chat to you about what i was going to end that video with so first of all recommending these irons to people um, and like i said earlier in the video it's probably again like i said for your lowered figured handicap players so if your handicap gets outside 12 ap2 is like i said for a 12 handicap or less once you're moving into your cb, CB and mb you're looking at anything from five handicap under so just remember it is what i call a player's iron now most of all make sure you like if you've hit the clubs already leave your comment in the comment section but most of all hit the subscribe button over here and we'll see you next time on nd golf